All right, hey fam, Mr. Ahern here. Um, today, after you have made your uh, finger joint box, we need to convert it into something that our laser cutters can understand. Because in its current format, it cannot be made into something physical. So, I'm gonna show you how to do that. First things first, here's our box. We want to basically take a 2D image of the sides of each, of each, all the sides of this box, so that the uh, kind of peripherals can be cut out. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by going from design up here. You're going to go to manufacture because we're going to something. Now this is where we create the file that will tell the laser cutter how to move in order to cut our box. So first things first, we are going to want to start by making what's called a new setup. So you're going to click new setup. Uh, you're going to want model orientation to be orientation. The operation type you want to set to cutting. Um, we want the uh, model point origin to be that. And essentially what you want to do is at this point you should be able to click down there, right? Um, let's actually say, let's try model origin. There we go. We want to click right there. Okay. So model orientation should be the orientation. Origin should be model origin. And then you're going to click down into the bottom of the box. Okay. And we're good. All right, now um, we need to make the cut or show, show it how to do that. So we're going to hit the cutting button. We need to make a new tool. So to do this, when you click tool, a thing should pop up that looks like this. Now, I already have mine ready. You guys don't. So you're going to hit the plus button. Today, you're going to be using a laser cutter. So select a, la select a laser cutter. You don't need to change anything here. But under Cutter, under Perf Width, you want to change that to 0.127. Okay, now you might ask, what is a kerf? Well, let's see. If I had a piece of wood or any other object, right? Like, let's take, oh, I don't know, how about this card right here, right? Okay, I have this card right here, right? Now, let's say um, it's a piece of wood. Imagine that this card is actually a piece of wood. If I were to take a saw and cut this card in half, like so, with my saw, if I were to reassemble those two pieces after I'd cut them, would they be, or would this piece be exactly the same length that originally was? And most of you should understand that no, because the blade itself has removed a width of the blade in the process of cutting the wood in half. We call that a kerf. Kerf is the amount of material lost when you do a cutting action within that material. So we're saying that our laser's kerf, the amount of material that it burns away in the process, is 0.127 millimeters. Okay. Post-processor, we don't need to do anything here. All these other tabs are unnecessary at the moment. Description, let's make this a Glowforge tool. Okay. Accept. Okay. Now we have a glow, uh, Glowforge. Right, I have two, but we have one. Okay, so we're gonna select that. All right, so cutting mode through, don't need to change that, don't need to change anything there. Next, you need to go to geometry, and you're gonna select that face, right? And then we're gonna go to linking. I would unselect lead in and lead out. They don't really do anything, so you don't need to do anything there. Tolerance is not important, height's not important, geometry is the big thing. Okay, and we're done. Now, this works. If we wanted to, we could now go to Actions, Post Process, wait for it, Actions, Post Process, and do the thing. Hmm, what's it doing? It's thinking real hard. What you doing, fam? Oh, okay. All right. Um, here, I guess we can select that and do post process. No? Oh, I see. It was opening it on my other screen. Well, that's not very helpful. Okay, here we go. So here's our, after you hit post process, this should come up. Now, um, you guys are going to have under this post button there, it won't say anything because you haven't selected a post process. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. All right. So first things first, yes, we want to get rid of this so I can show you the process. All right, when you select posts under here, 
mm. right? Um, you, it's going to say to, hold on, if I do that, yeah, here we go. So it should look like that. You're going to do choose from library. This should pull up. You're going to go to, uh, right, this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then we're going to search for Billboards. No, nope, that's not it. Um, all right, hold on a second. All right, and you're going to go to the Fusion 360 library, and you're going to scroll down to the G section to get to Glowforge, and then you're going to hit Select. Okay. And then this little tab should pop up here. Uh, you want to save it to local, copy to my posts. Okay, and now you have um, your post processor. That is the thing that's going to turn it into the file that we need for our Glowforge, right? All right, so name and number. We're going to name this the bottom panel. It's important to name these so that you know what they are once they've been saved. We're going to hit the post button, and it's going to tell us where it got saved to. So mine got saved to my documents. So if I open up my documents, and this is important, this will be the same for you guys as well. So follow along. You're going to go to documents. Fusion 360, NC Programs, and look, bottom panel, there it is, okay? Now, you can upload that into Glowforge, but we'll show that in another minute, because there's one other thing that you guys need to know. So that's just the bottom panel, right? But there's four sides to this box. So you don't have to do this four times, you only have to do it twice, because these two sides where they meet at this corner are identical to these two sides where they meet at that corner, right? So we need to make two more setups. We're going to do setup, new setup. And now here's what's important. The way we did it the first time is saying that we're looking down at this face in the middle, that bottom panel of the box, right? But if you try to do that again with these side panels, you're going to cut that face at the top, right? This is what you'll be cutting. We need to say that the facing upside when we pull this box apart is going to be this face right here, right? So we have to tell the computer that this is the face that is going to be the orientation for the cut, right? So we're going to select Z axis. You're going to click on that and look, our Z now is pointing away from the face, which means we're now looking down on that face. That's what you want, okay? All right, so instead of that, we want model origin. Okay, right, boom. That's what we want, okay. Now we want cutting again, and same as last time, same tool as last time, same everything as last time. Remember to check your geometries and select the face that's being cut, and hit OK, and boom. Now we can post-process this one. OK, and the same thing as before. We're using the same post-processor, so we don't have to do anything there. Now we can just say this is going to be the right panel. Boom. Yes, because I already had a right panel, I'm going to overwrite it. And now when I go to this file again, I'm going to have right panel right there, right? Okay, so all you need to do now is that same thing, but on this last face right here. So you should have three files that you create through this, and between those three files, you should be able to make your box. All right, so where you're going to go now is you're going to go to app.glowforge.com, and you should see because you've been invited to the Glowforge app, um, you should follow through. Go to your emails now if you haven't yet, and you should follow all the instructions in order to get an account set up in Glowforge, right? Once you're done, it should look like this. You're going to hit the Create New Design, Create a Blank Design. Your screen is going to look something like this. It's just what's inside the Glowforge at the moment. And you're going to hit Upload, and you're going to upload the file. Let's start with the bottom panel. Let's try and do them one at a time, right? Okay, there's our bottom panel. Boom. Now, you'll notice it's dotted, and that means that it's not printable at the moment because you first have to select your material. Now, we've been using thick, dra or thick draft board for our material. See how it changes when you select the material? We've been using proof grade uh, thick, draft thick draft board, so that's what our settings are going to be to. Then, if there's a piece of wood, on the table of the Glowforge, you should see it in the camera. The trick, guys, here, and this is really important for me personally, you know, we don't have unlimited materials, so you really got to Tetris this. You got to make sure that you're not creating any waste if possible. So you want to kind of buddy up the pieces of your box as close as possible so there's very little scrap. We really want to maximize our square footage of the material that we have, right? Because this stuff isn't cheap. 
So in any case, let's say here's our bottom panel. Let's get our right panel up in here. Okay. So I would want to get these guys as close as possible. That's good, right? They're pretty close. They're not overlapping, so I'm not going to cut one or the other. If my Glowforge were on, I would hit that button. You'd get a spinning wheel, and it would calculate the time, and then it should tell you that you're good to go. At this point, you need to get me. You have not used this machine before. It's a laser cutter. They are expensive, and they can be dangerous. You need to get me to come over and confirm that all of your stuff is set and correct so we don't A, damage the machine, or B, waste materials. Okay. So once you've done that and you're all good, then it's just going to the machine and pushing a button, and voila, you have your box, right? So I hope this tutorial was helpful, and uh, I will see you all in class when we will put these skills to the test. I will see you guys then.